It's been a month. Why don't we know more about Thomas Matthew Crooks, the alleged lone gunman allowed to squeeze eight straight shots at Donald Trump's head from an open rooftop with virtually no interference? It's the biggest story of our lifetimes, and no one is talking. No local reporter is hungry to break the story of the century by hanging around Crooks' shooting range. No one seems to have tracked down the guys at BlackRock who featured Crooks in one of their ads. No neighbors, no parent friends, no one's talking. It's the strangest thing. A few classmates weeks ago shared how Crooks was a bullied loner. But that's it. And of course, the FBI couldn't access Crooks' phone, but instantly assessed that he acted alone. No questions there. When Crooks' dad was confronted at a grocery store, he told the press he wouldn't speak until a lawyer advised it. We'll release a statement when our legal counsel advises us to do so. The mom is blind, and media curiosity seems to have lost steam on the family. I guess TMZ and the paparazzi boys wish to respect their privacy all of a sudden. There was a device tied to Crooks whose geo-tracking data showed a path between D.C. and Crooks' home and workplace. We've talked about this on the show before. Whistleblowers shared that with Oversight Project. No follow-up there. FBI tells us they've interviewed 400 people. FBI tells us Crooks was smart enough to get into Harvard and that he Googled the Kennedy assassination. Okay. Why haven't we heard from his teachers, his principal? Crooks, the great invisible student known only to a handful of mean bullies? Not even footage of an enterprising journalist chasing down Crooks' math teacher to talk about his SAT scores. Guess we're all just too busy catching up on woke Netflix, huh? Notice what they are telling us. Notice the fact that FBI Director Ray was eager to tell Congress this was a gun family, 14 guns. Crooks bought the AR-15 from his dad. So naturally, the obedient ninnies that they are, at Trump's Mar-a-Lago press conference last Friday, this was the burning question on the minds of our diligent press. I want to ask you about the assassination attempt. Well, about the assassination attempt? Yes. Did the fact that somebody used an AR-15 gun at all change your impression of people's access to that weapon? No, I didn't. Uh, look, if you take away guns, she wants to take away everyone's gun. If you take away guns, you can't do it because people need the guns for protection. Now, entertainment they wanted, hunting they would, you know, different things. But they need weapons for protection in this country. People live out in the woods and they're not going to have a gun. If you look at a, some some countries, I don't want to go, I don't want to get them in trouble, but some countries have actually gone the opposite way. They had very strong gun laws and now they have gone the opposite way where they allowed people to have guns, where in one case they encouraged people to go out and get guns, and crime is down 29%. The real story is on lockdown. And trust me, you're not alone if you think that's really weird. The only breaking news on crooks in the last week comes not from our FBI, not from some enterprising local news talent, but from Senator Chuck Grassley. Thursday, Grassley released a statement. He uncovered records showing Crooks enrolled himself as a member of the Clareton Sportsman's Club last August. Crooks visited the club 43 times, according to club logs, spending the majority of his time on rifle practice. Crooks appeared religiously on Christmas Day, on Valentine's Day, on Halloween. This is interesting. Pair it with what we learned from FBI that Crooks scored high on all his tests, but was possibly on the spectrum. Crooks was known to stand outside and sway from side to side. So you're telling me no one noticed this kid, a kid who never socialized, seemed to be on the spectrum, and religiously practiced shooting at a local shooting range. This kid was never noticed by anyone at the shooting range. Apparently not, so far. This is a shooting facility that DHS uses. Hmm. That's right, Department of Homeland Security, the parent organization of Secret Service. DHS and other federal law enforcement used this very facility, and Crooks was, ostensibly, surrounded by federal agents. And no one noticed. At least, no one's talking about it. For all our viewers asking where One America News is heading in the future, we would like to introduce you to OAN Live. 
OAN Live is the best way to stay up to date on all of the hard-hitting, straight-shooting, national and international headlines. And the best part is, OAN Live is only $4.99 per month. All the credible, honest, unbiased reporting One America News offers at a fraction of the cost of cable. Just go to OANN.com to easily sign up for OAN Live and stay informed.